So one of the things I hear a lot is how do I get so many great reactors? As you can see, I have a pretty awesome reactor for my Ajax, one for my Blair, as well as one for my Glay. I tend to have also quite a bit of Kuiper shards, and a lot of that is for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is I understand how to farm efficiently. With that in mind, I did want to maybe make a video to show you guys some of the tools as well as some of the locations that I go to farm just so you guys can have a better idea of how to accomplish this. The First Descendant has done a pretty damn good job of giving you guys the tools to be able to track these things down and I'm going to show you how to use them efficiently. With that intro out of the way though, let's dive right on into this one. All right, first things first, we are in the game. And quickly, I want to help you guys with reactors. As you can see, I have a really solid reactor for my Ajax. At the moment, I'm looking for a secret garden. Um, I'm gonna be crafting that in the next coming days to perfect its build. As you can see, I have a materialized mechanic reactor that has non-attribute skill power, tech power, and it gives me skill cost reduction and skill cooldown reduction. These are all stats that are really, really good for Ajax since he scale off of all these things. And since the secret garden is specifically designed for him. This is also a really great reactor for him since I will be eventually getting it. Now how did I come across getting a reactor like this in such a short time? Now if you didn't know, there is a way to see the rewards for a very specific type of reactors. You can press F for difficulty level rewards and here you get access to a menu that shows you all the different locations for different things. So let's say I have a thunder cage and I'm playing bunny and I want to find a reactor very specifically for a bunny. Well first things first you will go to your descendant and take a look at how her ability scales. She scales off with electricity and fusion, electricity and singular, electricity and singular, and electricity and fusion. Now obviously Bunny is going to be more focused towards her lightning emission skill, so we're going to be looking for electric and singular as this is going to be our best thing. So we're going to go back to this menu, press F, and we're going to look for a general round since that weapon is a general round weapon. We're going to go for electric, and then we're going to look for singular. It already came up, but I'm just going to use it. We're going to look for singular, and we got restricted zone. What this means is... Anything within this zone, any mission you do, anything will be more likely to drop this specific thing. So for proof of concept, we're over in this zone and we're going to quickly do a very short mission until we get one so you guys can see how it works. As you can see, with about 2 minutes and 40 seconds of farming, I was able to get a tingling singularity reactor that has the thunder cage mounting, the electric skill that Bunny uses, the singular skills that Bunny uses, as well as the skill cost reduction, then a fire boost ratio. This isn't the best one. I can always min max and continue to farm, but this is more of a proof of concept. But as you can see, I was able to get something that probably most of you could slot in and be pretty effective with and get a pretty significant boost with about 3 minutes of investment. You can do this with literally any character. And I would highly recommend if you really are focused on any individual descendant, you should do this. Next, I want to talk about the access information panel. This is one of the most important panels in the entire game that I noticed a lot of players are not familiar with. So let's quickly go over it. From your menu, you will press the M key. I'm not sure what it is on controller, but you will go over to access information. And this is a pretty amazing encyclopedia, literally the best thing that I've seen in any game, not only of this genre, but just in general, so it can give you a better idea of how to find or just look for specific things. Sometimes when people come to my stream, they always ask me how to find certain modules. For example, let's say I want to farm something specifically for Bunny, I can just type Bunny and it will find all of her transcendent mods very specific to Bunny and you can just target where they are. For example, electric transition, if you wanted to get that one, if I can press the F key correctly, you can find them in all these locations. As you can see, it pointed us here with a 1% drop rate, which is absolutely abysmal, but this is how you would in theory farm it. I would probably look for other options, but maybe not use this one. But uh, yeah, you, this is where you can farm it. And then you can probably even go over to change it to hard mode. It'll probably be 2%, yeah, 2.5%. Well, just a way for you guys to track things. This is gonna be the best way. Same with weapons, one of the upcoming weapons that I'm gonna be looking forward is going to be the called the secret garden this is a really amazing weapon that i'm really looking forward to i'm already building it and this is going to show you how to find specific parts as you can see it could show me where the secret garden synthetic fiber is but i can find the blueprint 
and it'll show you exactly what you need to do. I just need to do intercept battles with the devourer common and I can in theory unlock it. So that is the person who's going to crack it open. And in order to farm the pattern that drops it, I would just go to the Agni Desert normal, the asylum, and just go here and farm it. As you can see there, the uh, material is a hundred percent guarantee. Meaning when I do this mission, I will a hundred percent get it. And then after that, all I need to go do is face off against the devourer and I will eventually get it if I invest the time. Now, I don't want to dwell on too many things because i think you guys get the concept this is going to be literally the best menu for you to be able to find anything in the game i would highly recommend you use it because if you're looking to find something this is going to be the way to do it now finally i want to talk to you guys about a couple of things but more specifically the code analyzers these things are used to pretty much crack open the encrypted vaults that are super super valuable and they can in theory can give you up to 70,000 plus kuiper shards if you use it right and have a lot of these now the location is called the rockfall outpost this is in the sterile lands from there you will just simply go to the anticipated ambush point and i would highly recommend if you have friends that you go here with friends because they're going to get the rewards which is super important because you're going to all get access to a lot of these materials and most importantly the second part of this which will be analyzers which is going to give you a massive massive boost to your kuiper farm but i do see a lot of videos of 200,000 kuiper shards an hour or something like that and this is significantly more if you're farming very consistently now once you have all these ideally you're going to build Enzo I'm actually halfway done with building him and this is for a couple of reasons the main reason being that he increases the encrypted box storage's time limit as well as the reduction on the speed of how it like bounces back and forth and it reduces the count deduction that you need to actually crack it open on top of that the angle reduction is actually lower as well as the time deduction on failure is also reduced by half meaning whenever you have him cracking open the vault he's gonna open them significantly easier while I was streaming yesterday a couple of guys from the chat jumped in and we all just ran around and just cracked open the vaults and we got a ton of kuiper shards in less than about 45 minutes we just ran around and collected everything and i think we got about 1.2 million by the time i was done and we barely put any effort into farming this is by far the best way to farm because not only are you going to be earning this passively from just doing this location but you're also going to be using unzo and your friends to get a massive amount of shards as well as a ton of materials for your crystallization catalyst as well as your energy active Activators. Enzo is a really good character that you should be farming for if you want to be super effective. Anyways, that is going to be it for this ultimate farming guide. I want to touch on some of the more important things that I don't think a lot of players know about, as well as give you guys a tip on really maximizing without having to put too much effort into building a ton of characters. I know a lot of you are farming right now, so you may as well farm Enzo and get this massive benefit. So your future in the first descendant is a much smoother farming session, so you don't have to spend so much time just doing nonsense. Either way, if this video helped you out, consider leaving me a like as well as subscribing to the channel i'm going to be covering the first descendant for many many years to come so i'd love to have you on this journey you can also come stop by the twitch i live stream there every single day about 10 to 12 hours a day answering questions doing builds and pretty much everything in between and just like that guys i'll see you in the next first descendant video very soon